in the vast expanse of the Parana Delta in Argentina, a peculiar discovery sent ripples of astonishment across the globe. A perfectly circular island, rotating on its own axis, was spotted on Google Earth in 2016. This enigmatic landmass, dubbed El Ojo, or the Eye in Spanish, quickly captured the attention of scientists, conspiracy theorists, and the public alike. Its uncanny symmetry and inexplicable movement ignited a wildfire of speculation and intrigue. The discovery of El Ojo was completely serendipitous. A film crew, led by director Sergio Neuspiller, stumbled upon the island while scouting locations for a film about paranormal activities. Intrigued by its unusual shape and behavior, they documented their findings, which soon went viral, sparking a global fascination with this mysterious floating island. The initial reaction was a mixture of awe and disbelief. Many dismissed it as a hoax or a clever digital manipulation. However, subsequent expeditions and satellite imagery confirmed its existence, solidifying El Ojo's place as a genuine natural anomaly. The discovery sent scientists on a quest to unravel the secrets of its formation and the forces behind its perpetual rotation. El Ojo resides in a remote and inaccessible part of the Parana Delta, a sprawling network of wetlands and waterways in northeastern Argentina. The delta, known for its rich biodiversity and labyrinthine channels, provided the perfect backdrop for this enigmatic island to remain hidden for centuries, if not millennia. El Ojo is striking in its perfect circular shape, with a diameter of 118 meters. The island's circumference is defined by a sharp, almost perfectly formed edge, distinguishing it from the surrounding marshes. Adding to its mystery, the island floats within a slightly larger circular body of water, creating an outer ring that further accentuates its geometric precision. Observations have revealed that El Ojo rotates on its own axis, a phenomenon yet to be fully explained. The speed and direction of rotation appear to fluctuate, suggesting the influence of external factors, such as water currents and wind patterns. The island's vegetation, composed mainly of resilient grasses and aquatic plants, further reinforces its unique ecosystem. The formation of El Ojo remains a subject of ongoing research and debate. Several theories have emerged, attempting to explain the origin of this peculiar floating island. One prominent theory suggests that El Ojo is a floating island or tussock, a naturally occurring phenomenon found in wetlands worldwide. Tussocks typically form when dense mats of vegetation, anchored to the bottom of shallow water bodies, gradually accumulate sediment and organic matter. Over time, these mats become buoyant enough to detach from the seabed, creating floating islands that can move with the wind and currents. Another theory proposes that El Ojo is a product of a unique geological phenomenon involving underground gas vents. According to this hypothesis, Methane or other gases, released from deposits beneath the delta's surface, could create an upward pressure, causing a circular section of the land to rise and form the island. This theory seeks to explain El Ojo's rotation by suggesting that the continuous release of gas bubbles exerts a force on the underside of the island, causing it to spin. However, concrete evidence to support this theory is yet to be found. Section 4. A Persistent Enigma the unanswered questions. Despite numerous expeditions and investigations, El Ojo continues to baffle scientists and researchers. Its perfect circular shape, precise rotation, and the unusual composition of the water within the outer ring defy easy explanations. The island's remote location and the challenging terrain of the Parana Delta further complicate research efforts. The most perplexing question surrounding El Ojo remains its perfectly circular shape. While natural processes can create circular formations, the precision of El Ojo's geometry is unusual. Some researchers speculate that the island's shape might be a result of a self-perpetuating cycle, where its rotation creates currents that erode its edges evenly, maintaining its circular form. The composition of the water within the outer ring presents another enigma. Analysis has shown that the water within the ring is significantly clearer and colder than the surrounding delta water. This observation has led to speculation about the existence of underground springs or other hydrological features that might be influencing the island's unique environment. Section 5, El Ojo Today, Current Status and Future Research. El Ojo continues to captivate the imagination of people worldwide, attracting adventurers, researchers, and those seeking to unravel its mysteries. However, 
Due to its remote location and the fragile ecosystem of the Piranha Delta, access to the island is strictly controlled. Currently, research efforts are focused on collecting more data on the island's movement, the composition of the surrounding water, and the geological formations beneath the delta. Scientists are also employing advanced imaging techniques, such as ground-penetrating radar, to map the subsurface and search for any anomalies that might explain El Ojo's formation. The future of El Ojo remains uncertain. Whether it will continue to spin for centuries to come, gradually drift with the currents, or eventually succumb to the forces of nature remains a mystery. However, one thing is certain, El Ojo will continue to serve as a reminder of the awe-inspiring power and enigmatic nature of our planet.